Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I have just been out, done a little bit of shopping and weather was terrible. It was like a piece of super. Could hardly see a thing. The terrible misty and drizzle and and I'm keeping my ear warm and things on till the house warms up because I had to put the heating on when I came back. But I've done a couple of little videos to show what I bought shopping and also these here. I managed to get some of these from Timu. They came today. The um the smaller bottoms for the um the bags because I've used all the other ones up that I had and I've used the longer ones. I had some were about that much, a little bit longer than this I was doing some bags with. But I had those ones there, which I got from uh, Amazon, which are a little bit larger than these ones. So I have sent out one bag with um, this bottom on. I still have three more of these ones left, the, the larger sizes. But they were all dark shades. I couldn't buy anything. There was black, tan and dark brown. I couldn't buy the colours I wanted. I had to get them because they were in packs, which was why I like these ones that I got from. Timu because I could pick the colour I wanted. I want light ones, I don't want dark ones because you can put any colour with those ones but you can't with those other ones. But anyway that was just a little bit of that and I am nearly finished my sweater. I'm doing the neck. I finished the, um, the back and the front and the sleeves. Which I finished this over the, the Easter, over the holiday. I made sure I finished, had time to finish my own off. And I just left it because I just had the neck to put it on. I thought I'm going to leave that for today. And when I finish that, I'll be sewing it up. And, and then I will be doing, finishing this one on that I started before the holidays as well. This one for uh, Rhiannon, which I've got the same as what I showed you the last time. That was, I haven't done any more of that one. But as soon as I finish mine, I'm going to be on with this and finish this. And the other one I have knitted as well. But once sewing up, I'm going to sew the other one up and put the band on the, uh, the front and do that with this one. But I only have, I think, two more rows to do. I've counted up the rows I've done. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll probably do one more row after this. That'll be ten rows. That'll be I'm not I'm got a ruler there, I'm not sure whether. About an inch and a quarter. Although I might do a couple more rows and make it a little bit higher, because I do like the necks a bit higher on um my sweater, so I'll probably do another three rows after this and then cast the stitches off and I've had one or two messages because I haven't had a few videos up for I wasn't bothering over the the Easter weekend because I wasn't doing much the only thing I was going to do over the weekend was was my own thing and I finished a few of the the bags I was doing and got those sent off to the but I went, I had five parcels yesterday to go to the post office with. One of them, four of them were the bags and one of them was um, a couple of cardigans that I sold on my AB shop. And one of the parcels I never realised when I put it down on the um, the counter, you see it's a postmaster and you see, you haven't put the flaming postcode on this one. So Rosemary, I've just had to post yours again today because it was too late for it to go over again because I only just caught the um the last post on Tuesday. So I took it over this afternoon and posted it. So yours is on its way. It would have been on its way yesterday, Rosemary, if I had. I never thought as well while well, I had my phone. I had Rosemary's, Rosemary's address in my emails and I never thought to look through the emails and I could have put the postcode on while I was over at the post office, but I never thought till after I got home. 
So we've got posted today anyway. So keep an eye out for it. They're all second class, so they'll probably all take a couple of days before they get to where they're going. But one or two people who I have sent them out to have been messaging me and telling me they've delivered them, they've been delivered. But I've had one or two messages. Um, people think when I don't put a, um, a video up for a few days that uh, I mustn't be very well or something like that, but I'm perfectly fine, everybody. I just like a break now and again where I don't have to worry about putting up um, videos, doing videos for YouTube and then have to check to make sure they've gone up all right and then check for how many views and that you get and how much revenue I'm getting off them and I don't get very much revenue when I don't put videos up because most of the revenue I do get is on the videos that I put up every day. It's because of the people viewing the um, the videos when I put them up that same day. And it's a couple of days later before um, I actually can see how much revenue I've made off that. So the last few days I haven't had a video up. So my revenue has gone down and down and down every day. But it's a sort of a new month anyway. And for anyone who is wanting to trying to get monetized on um, their channel. I'm going to let you into a little bit of knowledge of what I actually have to pick up next month. Um, your month ends on the, the second. It starts on the third of every month and it goes on because you're a couple of days behind. And they pay you on about the 20, between the 21st and the 26th of the, um, the month. And just for anyone who's wondering whether it's worth it, it is to put videos up every day because I'm going to tell you how much I got, how much I'm going to be getting next month. I've got £512 to pick up next, at the, um, the end of this month, because the money for the last month, that's how much I, I had and I'll be picking it up. So if anyone is trying to get monetized and wondering whether it's worth bothering, it is, if you keep up your, if you are consistent with your videos and put them up regular, you get paid quite a bit. And like I'm saying, I've had over 500 pound and I've had quite a lot of days where I haven't put videos up. So like I'm saying, my revenue goes down. If I was putting videos up every single day without fail, I would have a lot more than that. But I'm not bothered, I'm getting what I like, what I'm getting, so it helps with a lot of things because because of what I do and all that, I don't get any help with my rent or my council tax and I do have to pay all of those, so that money I get from YouTube helps to pay those things. So that was just a little bit info for anyone wondering whether it's worth bothering because sometimes it does take you a long time to um, to get the the number of subscribers, you have to have a thousand subscribers, you have to have a thousand watch hours for whatever you're doing. I have a, um, my shopping channel at the moment. I've just done a couple of little videos to put on my um, shopping channel, but I have 850 something subscribers. So I'm still nearly 150 short, but I get that channel um, monetized. But as soon as I get the thousand, I have the watch hours. I've got nearly 5,000 watch hours, but I haven't got enough subscribers. So all of you that watches my videos, if you haven't subscribed to my shopping channel, get on and subscribe. And then I can monetize that one as well. At least I'll have a little bit extra left over after I've paid my rent and my council tax because that 500 pound I made this month will practically pay my rent and my council tax. I won't have much change out of that. So anyway, that was just a little bit today to let you know why I haven't been putting any videos up because I did want to have a, um, you know, a little bit time to myself, not to not have to bother over the over the Easter weekend and that. And I was at my granddaughter's on uh, Sunday, and oh, and I was lucky. I checked my premium bonds this morning, and I've won another hundred pound on my premium bonds. I'm very lucky on my premium bonds. So as soon as I get this finished, 
I'm going to sew it out. I'll probably leave the sewing till tomorrow because um, I don't like sewing of a night time because I'm usually watching the television and, and that. But And I'll get on with sort knitting um, Rhiannon's. And then I have that white blanket to finish. So I'll get that finished. And then I'll get back on with my knitting patterns, what I was sorting. I will try to do the, this one here, this one. I'll try to do a, um, a knitting pattern with this, try and work out some other sizes on it because this is my size. This is a 40 inch I've done for myself. So I'll try to work out a few other sizes for anyone that might want this pattern. It is a very easy pattern. It's a pattern that actually you can put on both sides. It's like, it looks nice on the other side as well. So anyway, that's my little bit for today. So thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.